Hi everyone, Infinity here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you're here and I hope that you're doing well. Today's video, we are going to start and finish all of Drax's job quests. This is the one that where we use a lot of the magic. So if you're not already on level 20 in the progression for magic, you should get there today. All right. The first one here, the first quest is we're going to need to dispatch 50 jumbles in the salt water mines. So let's head there now. I automatically start on level 8 of the salt water mines because I was like, if I'm going to be in here and I'm going to beat up all of these jumbles, I might as well just collect gems along with it so that I can turn them into polished gems and make a ton of money. So let's do that. Let's dispatch 50 jumbles and the reward for this is going to be the small mana potion. Now that we've killed 50 jumbles in the saltwater mines, it's time to go find Drac or Drake. I don't know. I call him Drac. I actually thought his name was Drax, like with an X. I'm just realizing right now it's actually with a K at the end. So maybe his name is Drake. Drac. Dracula. Anyways, let's go redeem the first job and let's head to number two. This is, we need to use the Vortex spell against 10, against Jumbles, 10 times. So, let's do this. Let's use our Vortex spell and get the Medium Mana Potion. That was a little bit easier than I thought it would be. So let's go find Drac. Let's go redeem quest number two and move on to quest number three. Look at the spot that he's in. This is so cute. All right, so he's super impressed with us so far. He thinks we're doing a great job. The next one, we have to dispatch 30 octo wheels in the saltwater mines and we will get a small thorn potion. So let's go do that. Let's go head back to the saltwater mines and let's get this done. So these octo wheels, when I was first going through the saltwater mines, I thought they were faucets, like sink faucets. And now when I actually look at them, yeah, they do look like, like octopus and a wheel. So they're definitely not faucets. Anyways, let's go kill 30 of these guys. It 
it's time to go find Drac again so we can redeem job number three, get our small thorn potion, and head to job number four. So here he is. He's in Verdant Valley usually. This is where he lives. This is where his combat is. But sometimes he's not here because he's either sleeping or sometimes he's like in the actual town. So he is kind of hard to find sometimes, but most of the time he stays here. All right, now it's time to dispatch 50 jumbles in the floating ruins so that we can get the small bubble potion. Don't forget, you're going to need your fair breath potion here so that we don't die from the miasma, miasma, whatever it's called. So let's go kill 50 of these jumbles so we can get on to the next quest. So the time has come, we've done that, and let's go find Drac. I used the Way Shrines to head to the Saltwater Mines, which is the closest one to Verdant Valley, so we can find him pretty easy here. Let's redeem our quest for magic number five, get our, get our small bubble potion, and get our next job. We need to use the Fairy Fire spell 10 times so let's head back to the floating ruins let's get that done and get the small man of steel potion <music> so i'm not sure what happened to my footage where i redeemed quest number five but i did because now i'm on to quest number six this is where we need to dispatch 30 skellos in the floating ruins so we can get the small flame petal potion. These are what the skellos are. They're the little cello, like the haunted cellos, which is actually a really cute name for them, skellos. I never actually put two and two together until right now. Look at all these things I'm learning as I'm doing the voiceover for this video. Anyways, Let's kill 30 of these so we can get quest number 6 redeemed and move on to number 7. So Drac today is in East Town. Let's head over there. Let's find him. Let's redeem magic level six. And then we can go to level seven. So level seven is we have to dispatch 50 jumbles in the scorched caverns so we can get the small confusion potion. Now heading back to the scorched caverns or the lava ruins, like I like to call it, we need the fire. Is it the fire? I can't even remember the name of the potion. But we need the one that we don't set ourselves on fire. So don't forget to grab that or craft it if you have to. And let's go kill 50 jumbles in the lava ruins.
it's time to find Drac again so we can redeem level 7, get our small confusion potion, and start working on number 8. Number 8 is use the charm spell against the jumbles 10 times and we will get the small zaps potion. So let's go head back to the lava ruins so we can finish this quest off. Let's go find Drac, let's go get our small zaps potion, and let's figure out, or let's find out what level 9 is. Level 9, we actually have to dispatch 30 blamps in the Scorched Caverns. I had to look up what blamps are, and they're the little bombs that fall down, and we get to, once we do this, we get the cotton candy wallpaper, which is actually so cute. So I'm super excited about redeeming this. So here I am. I'm looking for, or I can't remember what they're called, but they're called lamps. So it's these guys that fall, like I was saying, from the sky. They are the little bombs. That is what we have to kill 30. We have to kill 30 of them. Let's go find Drac. He's at his house in Verdant Valley. We've now dispatched 30 blimps. We're going to go and collect our cotton candy wallpaper DIY. I'm super excited for this because it is so cute. And the next one, and this is the final, well not final, but this is the last or level 10. We actually need to use the bash spell against the jumbles 10 times and we're gonna get Madge's hood. So I went back to the saltwater mines because I figured these are the easiest ones and I'm just gonna use this spell and it worked. So you can just choose whatever mine you want to to redeem level 10. Let's go back and let's go find Drac again. Let's go redeem magic number 10 and let's go get Madge's hood. Madge's hood. Okay, so when I first saw this, I was like, mm, I don't know if I even want this outfit, but it's actually a lot cuter than I thought it would be. And then I'm just going to press R over to the achievement and we're going to get Madge's outfit. And I will show you what the outfit looks like on. It's actually so cute. All right, so here is the outfit. This is what it looks like. Like in purple, I mean, it's still really cute, but I'm gonna change the color up a little bit to pink, of course. And let's also try on Madge's hood or the Madge hood and like I was saying it's actually a lot cuter than I thought it would be. I actually really enjoy this outfit. It's super cute. So this is what you get once you redeem all of Drax's quests. Like look how cute that looks in this color and let's change the outfit just a little bit 
so we can modify or edit the color just a little bit. See, like, that's cute. You have to admit that is actually super, super cute. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, I would love it if you'd leave a like and a comment because it does help me out a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!